Hey, welcome back to the back with Gourmet Hurricane Irma Vlog Day Two. Uh, this Saturday morning, weather is gorgeous. Sunny blue skies. Um, as you can see, uh, I'll show you here in a second a little clip from the weather report this morning. Um, shifted the track now west of here, uh, over Tampa. Which, you know, the last one that hit us bad was Hurricane Charlie. Guess where uh, they said Hurricane Charlie was going? Yeah, <laughs> Tampa. Uh, hit Punta Gorda, hung a right, and came right over top of this house. Or actually, the eye wall came over this house. The eye went just to the west of us. We survived that one, we'll survive this one. Category 4 hurricane. However, again, we'll get a new update at 11 based on... Here's another thing we're doing to prepare. I just uh, have my little deep cycle battery from my uh, duck boat out there. I use uh, just to run a bilge pump and a spotlight. Just gonna make sure that's uh, fully charged up, you know, and it says it's fully charged or a green light. So we can run inverters on these, uh, which is a better way to charge phones, computers, things like that. It's a little better regulated power than coming off a generator. So if you have one, I would suggest, you know, we can uh, actually wire up one of the female little cigarette lighter plugs to this and use that for all of our mobile devices uh, with the little USB, you know, the little plug-in pod there. And uh, that's going to give you a much better, cleaner power for those sensitive devices. I, I wouldn't try to charge your, uh, your computer, your iPod, any of that stuff uh, on generator it does tend to fluctuate the power quite a bit. They don't like that. All right, the other thing we are doing to prepare and this uh, is we brought out every one of our cordless batteries and have over the past two days made sure every one of those are completely charged. That's just going to save us time and headache of having to yank around cords and everything else if we have to do any repairs. Then we have our all drill motors, we also have an angle grinder. Um, <clears throat> it's just going to make things go a lot easier. But make sure you got all your batteries charged. Well, the other thing I wanted to say real quick was, uh, you know, since I put the vlog up yesterday, and even, even people on my regular channel, all the prayers and well, well wishes, um, we do appreciate it, believe me. Uh, trying to, you know, give all you guys big hearts. And I, when I first started this project, uh, this YouTube channel, about seriously about four and a half to five years ago, I never imagined it'd get to where it is now, where people from all over the world are actually uh, praying for us to get through this storm. But I do appreciate it, it and it does touch me. Now, you guys that follow me, you know we got these hands here. They're no longer scared of me. They come over here every day and want to know if I'm going to let them out. Well, what are we going to do with them in this storm? What we keep stored up over here in the shed is a large dog kennel. And it's made for big dogs. It's got a nice plastic pan. So we're going to set this up. We're going to put some paper down, our cardboard in this, and we're going to put them in this pen, bring some of their uh, crates and you know, something to jump on, their food or water and put them inside the garage and they'll be safe for the storm in there so I'm today I'm going to show you a few of the things that we always have and everyone that lives in Florida should always have uh, that you you put away and you, you don't touch them until you need them and this is a big one tarp for your roof uh, Hurricane Charlie uh, was in and out of here in about 25 minutes. Took the roofs off about 85% of the homes in this community. It was not the wind that destroyed the homes. It was the rain destroyed the homes after Charlie when they had so much roof damage 
that it completely destroyed the house. Uh, our home was only six years old then. It is now 19 years old. And the roof is 19 years old and been through four hurricanes. So what I have is tarps. I have enough tarp in this shed right here to cover the entire roof of this house um, in case it gets bad and takes the shingles off of it. At least, not saying we won't get any damage, but at least after the storm we'll be able to tarp it and still stay here. Okay, last thing for this, uh, for this vlog. As I'm putting things away, I'm also taking things out that I'm going to need quick access to. There's gas and stitch of cords. We got a, uh, a freezer, a fridge, and another standby freezer and fridge out here. All right, guys, we're going to sign off the vlog for right now. But as you can see by the weather, uh, the sky above me, weather's beautiful right now. So we're going to use this opportunity to go ahead and... Uh, finish up uh, what prep we're going to do hey and i think we're going to make a nice dish this afternoon so we'll be back uh with you guys later mm -hmm.